What's going on guys? Johnny with Blaze Grass Slunk here. Today is August the 2nd, 2023. Yup, August the 2nd. So this morning is about 78 degrees. Beautiful morning. And I'm at my first property of the day, which is my Wednesday property, of course. And it's currently I want to say 6:45 ish yeah so before we begin this video i would like to thank quote iq for sponsoring this video and guess what quote iq is giving away a ford f-150 work truck to a premium and platinum or enterprise subscriber so if you need help keeping up with customers sending estimates invoices or collecting payment give quote iq a try for free just click on the link in the comment section and the description of this video quote iq is the fastest way to send estimates invoices and get paid the dashboard gives you real-time business analysis like your closed ratio sales and expenses tracking so that you can stay organized and profitable so check out quote iq with the link below this subdivision I come to all the time on Wednesdays, early morning, never had an issue, never woke anybody up. And that's because I'm using the Toro Revolution Grandstand, which is a battery, battery powered stand on mower. Right here, I kind of ran over my foot, just <laughs> trying to pay attention to where the camera was, but yeah. Uh, which is a 48 inch deck and the only thing you can hear from this mower guys is the blades when they move and turn but this is a 48 inch deck which mows I want to say around 90 96% uh, of my properties so the few properties that I have that I can get into I utilize the uh, the Grandstand 36 or some of them I push more depending on how I feel but enough about that so the question is how do I get customers on my schedule so first of all my schedule is um, in the spring again I have southern turf guys so southern turf grows in the heat okay summertime so during the spring, um, I'm doing bi-weekly, and then mid-May to the end of May, depending on Mother Nature, I'll jump into the weekly schedule, <clears throat> and then we are weekly until, I want to say mid to end September, and then we go into bi-weekly until mid-November, and then we go into a monthly or as needed. Okay, as uh, monthly is for the ones that don't have any trees, and um, bi weekly usually is the one that have deciduous, deciduous trees. Um, so, you know, we do leaf clean up every two weeks, blow up the property, make sure it looks. Good. But, how do I get customers on my schedule? And it all depends on you. You have to know where to market, okay? Lawn care is not for everyone. Everyone cannot afford your services, even though people may think that they can. You have to target the locations uh, that you are under the impression that the people have the money to support your business, okay? And the reason I say that, and I'm very careful to say that because I've been to a couple of really nice subdivisions and people are renting, you know, and barely making it. But again, is where you market. Okay, you have to market. I, I market subdivisions uh, that are um, in within locations that I know people can't afford my services. And what I do is I target those subdivisions and whenever I get called for services I give them two options um, you know we do the cleanup and I put them on a schedule I said this is our schedule and we have a 
plan A and plan B. You know, plan A is the one without the shrubs, and plan, plan B is the one with the shrubs. And I leave it as that. Now, when I first started, I couldn't do that, okay? I'll be honest with you. But once your business gets going and you can be able to start peeling off the customers that don't pay, they want to have poop in their yard, the ones that always, you know, have something else going on, the ones that you text and you need your money and, you know, you always have to keep running down for your money, you know, every year you should be kind of peeling those customers off. That's what I do, guys. Every year I peel a few customers off, the ones that stresses my business out. Okay, and what are stressors? Again, non-payers, even though, and don't, don't, get, don't get me wrong, even though we have credit card on file, you have those that don't, uh, that don't have, you know, they, I, I don't understand how you, your, your credit card, it always goes missing every two, three months, or, or you know, you, you got a new credit card. You know what I mean? Those are the customers. And again, this is a business, okay? I know things happen, but is not the fault of my business. My business is here for me to make money, for me to provide for my family, and et cetera, et cetera. So those are the things that you need to consider. You need a market where you are under the assumption that people can afford your services. And once you find those locations, you have to market. And I'm talking about every month. Some guys think that, you know, you just market in the spring and that's it. No, you market every month. When I was in the process of trying to pick up customers, consolidate my properties, right? Consolidation means that all your properties are in one location. Every time I did a property, I hit three, three uh, houses to the left, three houses to the right, directly across, three to the left, three to the right every time and I've never had anyone that told me I'm tired of getting your marketing material never never ever ever and I've had people pick me up that were doing their own lawn and they decided you know what I'm gonna just have you do your lawn I'm gonna do my lawn it's simple I don't have to worry about it or I had people that say you know I'm about to go on a vacation can you, uh, can you do my lawn? And I'll tell him, yeah, but I have to take it on for a month. Okay, no problem. I had no issues, guys. And why? Because you have to be aware that anytime you're out there, anytime your crew is out there, someone is watching you. I promise you, somebody is at their window watching what you're doing. So you always need to remind your guys. I remind and you know, used to remind my guys, you're only as good as your last service. Somebody is always watching, so you have to look the part and do the job that you're being paid for. So that's the way I pick up customers and put them on my schedule. Now, do I have people that fall off the schedule? Yes. Do I have people that aren't on my schedule? Yes. Now, the only ones that are not on my schedule is the ones that do not fertilize and do not water. If you don't fertilize your lawn and you don't water your lawn, I will take you on as a bi-weekly on my schedule because I know the locations where I, I work and I target and I know the way the grass grows. I know centipede grass. I know how it grows, you know. So, so, that's why I can afford to take on some of these properties. So, again, ensure, guys, that you are targeting areas that you want to work. Just don't put out pamphlets. Just don't put out um, every, door, every door direct mailers and just send them out to anywhere. No, you have to do your research. Hit those subdivisions. Hit those areas where people look like they have money. You know, you can go on Google and Google will tell you certain income brackets in the location, but I found that that is not particularly uh, accurate, but that's okay. 
make sure you hit that up all right so leave in a comment guys how you get people to be on your schedule if this is what you're doing okay leave in a comment so we can all learn from each other again guys this is the way I do it and it works for me and if you've been watching me for a while you know that all my properties are scheduled okay so yeah all right guys thank you for taking the time to watch my videos please like share subscribe follow all that good stuff see you on the next one pop smoke peace